Game Double Tap, everybody. Welcome back to the channel that describes absolutely everything. And welcome back to Conjury. We are playing Gret, the Blade Caster. It is one of the advanced characters that you, gotta, you can unlock by amassing gems. And then once you unlock Gret, you gain access to one of the more powerful characters in the game of Conjury. Today we're going to be doing a well, like a tutorial slash strategy guide for Gret. I'm going to be talking about my favorite cards to use with him or her or they. I'm going to be talking about some typical factors that occur from the AI when you're getting cards. I'm going to be discussing my favorite strategies. I'm going to be walking you through my typical deck. We're even going to do a boss battle with the very first boss that you deal with. Well, one of the possible bosses you deal with when you go through the platinum level. Excuse me, the gold level. And yes, I have some super secret news and I just want to get that out of the way first. First of all, I want to send a big shout out to Blood Bowl. You can check out his comment in one of my games. I think, I don't know what video he commented on. I do believe he commented on my happy hour video on Friday, but there is a super secret trick to unlocking triple that, excuse me, triple threat, the secret hidden character which I am working so hard to unlock and do a complete playthrough. So, if you um, if you beat the game on Platinum Key level by three different characters, you unlock Triple Threat, and it does cost you 30 gems. So big shout out to Blood Bowl. He's in my clan from Lost Vault. I appreciate you. This is Blood Bowl's fault if it doesn't work. <laughs> So, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And yeah, if you have some cool spoilers and tricks and tips, feel free to drop them in my comments. I'm okay with you telling me all the secrets because at this point, I've beaten every character. So there's really no surprises other than trying to unlock the super secret hidden character called Triple Threat. But I will do a separate video on Triple Threat, so don't worry. When I do unlock the character, we will have a lot of fun playing through all of the key levels with that secret character. But today we're gonna to be doing Gret. Uh, the spelling I will get from the Discord community. Uh, again, I think it's Greg or Gret or, or something like that. I can't get the spelling exactly right because uh, voiceover won't give me character by character spelling with direct touch. So I'm unable to do it. More business. I have a big cup of Conjury Witch's Brew coffee. Nice tart cup of coffee because we're going to be doing tutorials today. So I'll be talking a whole lot. Also want to say, what else did I want to say? Oh, big shout out to My Noise for the uh, dungeon walking sounds because I do love sound effects. So you hear that sound of a person walking around lost a little bit. That comes from My Noise one of my absolutely favorite accessible apps for content creation. It helps fill in the gaps of games that don't have a lot of like sound effects when you're just wandering around in between levels. So I use my noise to fill those gaps in and you can find them in my description. Again, this game is Conjury. The developer's name is Dean Coulter. This is an action card roguelike battler. So you can expect to have a lot of action, yet have a ton of strategy. I do a first listen of this on my primary channel game, and I do many characters on game Double Tap. So definitely follow the playlist, like it, share it, subscribe. I really appreciate that. It goes a long way to building up the channel. And we have made it to 118 subscribers. So thank you very much to everyone who is supporting us here on Game Double Tap. Thank you very much. It is subscription, subscription, I'm thinking my brain is focused on subscriptions. It is convention season. So there's a lot of big names out there who are having uh, conventions. And I'm thinking about attending a uh, upcoming convention and so if I do do it I'll make sure you all know about it so if you want to meet me in person I might do a meet and greet or something who knows uh, it'd be here in California so if you are out this way or you got it like that uh, you could probably meet me in person at one of these conventions and uh, you know 
we'll chat and we'll talk about games and just be all nerdy and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about convention season. I'm very happy about the weather getting better. And I'm very excited about doing Gret the Blade Caster. So, let's get into Gret's deck. So, if you're not interested in the deck, go ahead and fast forward 20 minutes because this is going to be a very long video. I anticipate this will be a two to three hour long video. So, if that isn't your cup of tea, I do have shorter videos. So, definitely check out my playlist limps. There are some short videos and there are some extremely long videos. So, I just want to be respectful to your time. I'm going to warn you already, the good stuff in this video is going to come from sticking with it the whole time. All right, so again, uh, let's go through the deck and I'm gonna talk about each card. Fast forward 20 minutes if you wanna skip this and you can do that on YouTube. There's a new little feature that lets you fast forward one minute. It's very accessible. Thank you, YouTube. That was really sweet of you to include that accessibility improvement. It's very nice. I was using it just the other day to watch a video and I said, what? I can fast forward a minute without having to do a bunch of weird stuff with the screen? Yep. YouTube made it so that you could fast forward a minute. I think that's great. Give up. Now, YouTube, uh, what you really could Use also that. do is make sure we can adjust Close. that time. That'd be Button. even better. Double tap to select. We can adjust it in settings. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. Gret the Blade Caster. Let's, let's take a look at a deck that's grown a little bit, that I've evolved and added cards to. And I'll give you my good and bad about the cards. I'll tell you about, the, I'll talk about utility cards, and I'm also gonna talk about direct damage cards, weapon cards, and the character, and basically how it plays. All right, here, let's go through the deck. And I am aware of the fact that when I talk in the video, my voiceover is out of sync with my voice. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I think it's an iMovie issue, or it could be... Inhibit. Mono cost I one. honestly Action. think Clock a lot of these problems Charge have one. nothing to do with Disable. the games I'm playing. It has something Button. to do with, Double with to uh, Apple. And Apple products and how screen recording works. I don't know why, after as many years as I've been doing YouTube, that the screen recording software is out of sync with the voice. I don't know why that's occurring. I do apologize for that. As I come up with technical fixes for it, I'll let you all know about it. All right, let's go over to deck. Here's our cards collected. So this is your basic card that comes with Gret. Gret gets inhibit for free. You don't have to look for it. Yes, you can increase the number inhibits you have. Inhibit is a very defensive card. So Gret is defensive by nature. So you get free defensive cards. And unlike Quill, the Frostfire Mage, Inhibit doesn't change from attack to defense or defense to attack. Inhibit is a straight up reduction in the inhibit. enemy's attack. Cost one. Action. But Lock the two beauty damage. is one. Gret Disable. uses something Button. called Double tap to select. Energy. And when Gret gets his, her, or their energy up to 10, Inhibit. Gret's Mono weapons in double and attack Discern. power. Mono cost one. Action. Which is Deal really amazing. Plus two so that's one of the dynamics condition. you need to know Disable. about the blade caster. Button. Double tap to select. I got a little bit of, ooh, that coffee's got a little bit of bite to it. I like it. All right, let's go over some more cards. So let's let you hear what Inhibit does. Okay, block two damage and charge one. Keep an ear out for charge, because charge is very important to the blade caster. So blade casters are really big on giving their enemies status effects. That is really what the blade caster does. Poison, paralysis, uh, I want to say sleep into some respects, anything, uh, confusion, whenever you can, can hurt your enemy, status effects allow the blade casters more exotic cards to work really well. So if you're a blade caster, you're Mono looking three, for a weapon, status attack, effect four, durability, cards. Two, on you can Charge also, two, really cool, I'm going to get into weapon. some really cool to pro select. tips about the blade caster. I'm going to talk about some of the super secret cards that make your deck extremely OP. I'm also going to talk about why the blade caster is one of the few particular uh, classes that can also put status effects on their offhand or their shields. 
It's really cool. We'll get into that in a minute here. All right, so blade casters get two free weapons. They have a cost of three, so it's a little prohibitive, and they have an attack of three. But you can increase that attack, I, oh no, an attack of four. But you can increase that attack by swinging by the altars. You can also increase that attack and the durability by getting the stone from the stores. So, and there are also special NPCs, I think, that also improve your, your upgrade your weapons for a small cost. So, uh, yeah, it's really great to get two built-in weapons. Uh, pro tip number one, be careful how many weapons you put into Blade Caster's deck. You're going to want to stick to its blades because that's primarily weapons that have energy-based upgrades. So, Temper, uh, one. Gret is all about poison. energy. One. Increasing, Disable. decreasing, Button. maximizing your energy. There are so many cards that are very niche when it comes to Gret. We'll get into some of those cards. If we can beat it on gold, we'll open up platinum. I am trying to beat uh, Gret on platinum, but it's going to be very difficult. But yes, Pay attention to any card that says charge or energy, because that's what Gret uses as currency to build Mono up cost one. its Action. power. Deal two damage, plus two if the enemy has any status conditions. Disable. Button. So Pamper is a card you get for free. You can add that to a shield. You can add it to a weapon. You can add it to both weapons. So Gret is going to want to keep, pro tip number two, Gret is going to want to keep every weapon having as much status effects on it as possible so pamper is really good because remember we have this card i'm gonna go back more blade Mo pamper mana cost one shackle mana cost one action enchant any equipment with paralysis charge one so disable discern is Button. your typical double tap to select one mana cost burn card well, that's, I mean, I use the term burn a direct damage card, but if the enemy has a status effect, discern does four damage. So it's like an instant upgrade in the card. So that's a really good thing. So think about it this way. You want status effects good, no status effects bad. All right, so this is Shackle. Shackle is another status effect card. It causes paralysis. Paralysis is very powerful when it activates. It doesn't always activate. But when it does, you shut down anything they were about to do. If the boss is about to hit you for a million points of damage, that's shut down. It has a 25% chance to go off, so Shackle is excellent. I always want paralysis on my equipment. Even if I'm not playing Gret, I love paralysis. So. This is a very powerful thing. You want to put that on your weapon. Even if you're going to just break your weapon off to cross the head of a monster, make sure you put shackle on it because in that weird situation where you forgot you were confused or the monster doesn't die, at least it's there's a, t a chance that it will be hit with paralysis. Uh, pro tip number three, all of Gret's effects always work on monsters so there's no chance that it will work it will work so if you pamper a weapon and hit a monster it is poisoned if you shackle a weapon and hit a monster it is subjected to paralysis now paralysis has a secondary percentage chance of going off so yes even if you do hit a monster with shackle on your weapon it doesn't mean that shackle's effect will go off each time it just means that you will have a 100% chance to shackle them, but the paralysis effect only has a 25% chance to go off. So keep that in mind. Gret has that advantage that whenever there's a status effect on your shield, offhand, or weapon, it has a 100% chance to affect the creature you hit with it. Also, pro tip number four, if an enemy hits your offhand shield and it has Shackle one. Cost it two. is Shield subjected block. to two. paralysis. One hundred percent. I've Disable. already done the research. Button. I'm almost ninety nine percent certain that all of Gret's effects have one hundred percent chance of affecting any enemy that hits you. 
These are very important factors to keep in mind with Gret because it's going to really make the difference between if you win Shuffle. or lose Monocost with Gret. Because Monocost using two. your Geo status two. effects Durability. is two. extremely Unblock. important. Charge two. Disable. Let's go to the next card. Button. Double tap to select. Okay. Bulwark is a shield. Now, this is so cool. Gret has his own shield and this shield has really cool things number one you can put pamper on it you can put um you can put the card i just talked about you can put shackle on it so if the enemy hits this shield they are affected by the status effect and Bulwark is a great card to work with some other cards. You can increase its shield block. You can give it some more durability. Bulwark is a great card. Now, there's another thing I want you to listen to. There's a theme in Gret's deck, and that's Charge. So if you hear cards that say Charge, that's what you want to hear. That gives Gret's weapons a chance to double in attack power. So that's really, really good. Now, once your weapons double in attack power, you better use them because after that, they revert back to half their attack Annoying. power. Mana cost two. So Action. if you have Deal some damage. cheeky little Charge combos, two. like Disable. a really cool combo, I'm going to talk about later with double using grip. Select. If you have a grip combo ready to go, if you got a snag combo ready to go, if you have like a sharpen combo ready to go, the perfect time to pop those combos is when your energy level hits 10 and your weapons double in attack extra. There are several really extremely OP combos Bulwark. that Annoying. Gret can Monocost pull two. off Deal when damage. his two. or her Disable. or their energy spikes, Button. okay? Double tap to select. Anoint or um, anno annoy, anoint, I can't really tell. I think it's anoint. When you anoint a target, and you know, Gret's kind of like a paladin. When you anoint a target, this basically does two things. It does direct damage, and it charges you two points. This is a very powerful card in a Gret deck because it does multiple things. It's a great way to kill off enemies that you've weakened, especially stragglers who have one to three health. You don't want to necessarily waste your two, spell blades. One and I like to call them spell Disable. blades or whatever. Button. You don't want to waste your weapons and break them on enemies that are just straggling with very low amounts of health. That's where the direct damage cards come in very handy, Annoying. okay? Shackle. So Monoc Pamper. this card Monoc does two things, three. it Weapon. does four Attack. damage, four. plus it charges two, two points. Charge two. This Disable. is pretty much my go-to card Button. when I'm so Double close to, to getting a, multi a full charge, okay? Next card. Extract is a card that I've recently added to my uh, uh, Blade Spell deck because it's great for working with your uh, with your War Blades. War Blades could use some durability, and you don't. You only have two durability with all War Blades, so that's a really big disadvantage. Extract is, uh, I've told you, I've run some pretty broken Extract decks. Extract is one of the best cards in the game. It's only one mana cost and it can give you a permanent two attack power or a permanent one durability. And when I mean permanent, I mean it, it gives you the, the effect and it stays on until it's used up. I don't mean that it stays on permanently like you don't have infinite durability, you don't have infinite attack. What I mean is if you crack extract, like use it, whatever you put it on will get to keep that. So if you use home, it, okay, so remember extract is a choice card. You get to choose only one unless you have a particular weapon or offhand, which allows you to choose and get both. I choose in a Gret deck to use solidify. Solidify gives my weapon or offhand one durability. Very, very good. That means I have one more crack with my Warblades. So that's very important. You don't want to overload your deck with too much extract. 
I would say at the most, maybe run two. Camper. Mana cost one. Don't Action. get Enchanter too with wild poison. with extract. It Disable. is a very slow card Button. if you draw it. Double if you're starting a boss battle and you pull three extracts, you're dead. You are so dead. Uh, there's some people might say, hey, you're so alive. But uh, in Mana my opinion, one. it's Enchanter a slow equipment card. With paralysis. Don't Charge overload one. your deck Disable. with too many. But extract Button. does not come Double with your Extract is a card that I added on my own. I do love extract. It's great for my shield. It's great for my war blades. Okay, let's go to the next card. You come, your deck comes with two pampers. Uh, I do believe you get two pampers. I do believe I you get two when you start the deck. I'll double check that. And you get two shackles. You get two pampers, two shackles. Right? You see the synergy? Two war blades. Two shackles, two pampers. They want you to put one on each weapon. You should hear that. And that's going to be pro tip number five. Feel the synergy, feel the class. When you play Conjury, you've got to feel the class. You've got to feel what the class wants to do. One of the things I do with a class is let it lose. I know that sounds counterintuitive, right? But it's very important. You've got to know how long your class can survive without support and what is going to make your class win. So let your class lose a few times. Let your class do something totally atypical because you need to know what makes your class strong and what makes your class weak. You need to know your Achilles heel. That's very important. So when it comes to the blade caster, it really benefits from status effects, but it also benefits from weapon enhancement. But where it lacks is that it doesn't have the weapon durability it doesn't have the weapon increasing power like say a nimble deck would from some random deck or a boomerang or a boomerang deck would so keep in mind the uh gret deck is going to be very stable it's going to be very slow very methodical so you've got to really pay attention to how many cards are in your deck and you've Boomer. got to Monica time two. it block. Two. Durability. Gret two. decks, blade caster decks Disable. are all about timing Button. don't want to overload select. your deck with too much junk because if you do you're just going to get wiped out by a boss really quick Annoying. Mana cost two. Action. Deal four damage. So yeah, so Charge you get two, two shackles, disabled. two pampers, Button. four Double inhibits, two war blades. Let's go to the next. Uh, and you do get one discern. Extract. Mana I do not one. believe Action. you get two discerns, but I think plus you get two one. Plus one let's go through the whole deck. Disable. Button. Double tap to grip. Mana cost two. Action. Double the damage of one of your uh, weapons for this turn only. Bulwark does Disable. not come included with your deck. Button. You have to Double find to bulwark on your own through loot boxes or from weapon boxes. Uh, anoint does not come with your deck. Strange as that is, you have to find anoint from loot bags. I do believe I have two extracts in this deck. Grit is a grip is a great card. So I call it like Titan's grip or war or warblade grip. Grip is a great card. Experiment with it. Have fun with it. I can tell you so many broken combos I pulled off with grip. Grip, mirror. Oh, let's see. What was the one combo Extract I did? I did, a, I did Double a Double the damage of one of your weapons for this I turn only. Did Disable. A grip. Button. Mirror. Double tap to select. Mimic. Sna uh, uh, sharpen combo so it, it's pretty it's pretty crazy it's pretty cray cray you can have a lot of fun uh with this card grip is very powerful Denounce. it works Monocost really two. good with Action. nimble Deal decks it works four. really good Disable. with titan decks if you like Button. the fish so Double if you're big select. into the fishies yeah try yourself this card try grip you can double grip triple grip uh Throw in a mirror, refresh all your cards, drop your cards cost down to zero, use those grapes. Oh man, grip is grip is really OP in the right hands. 
Okay, Warplate. Denial this is very Weapon. strange, Five. but Durability. powerful Two. card. Yes, Two. it lowers Disable. your energy down, Button. but it's also a really substantial little burner. I just now added it to my Gret deck. It is working out really well. I don't like that it lowers your charges, but what I would suggest is you use Denounce when you don't have charges, then it's not affecting anything at all. But Denounce is a great card, it's a great Annoying. burner, and it's Action. especially designed damage. to Charge help two. you Disable. judge when you want your Button. war blades to power Double tap up. To select. This war blade's been upgraded a few times through the altar. You can also, I would highly suggest, pro tip number six, you use the altar to upgrade your war blades. They're going to be your most Sorry, exclusive one. weapon Action. in this Draw deck. There are four in so your hand. definitely Disable. upgrade them as soon as you can Button. afford to do so. Double tap to select. I have another anoint. I tender one. I run anywhere from two to four anoints in my deck because the charge principle is just too sweet. Not to mention four damage is pretty good. Two anoints can kill almost any low Swipe. level Monica monster. Zero. And Action. when they get Deal much stronger than that, Disable. well, you've got to Button. start getting your Double timing with your war blades going. All right. First big weakness of a Gret deck is your deck is slow. So you got to get your scurries in there. You got to get your dash in there. You got to get, there's one more card. I just can't remember it off the top of my head, but you got to get your card draw. You got to pot of greed it. You got to get your pot of greeds in. This is a new card that I've added to my deck. Yes, it's slow and it is a it is a draw kill, but it costs zero mana and it does one damage. How many times have you had a four damage card you'd have to waste on an enemy with one health? Well, Swipe solves that problem. It does exactly one damage and it costs you no mana. It's a great card. Only problem is Swipe is counterintuitive to a Snag deck. I don't know if y'all have ever heard me talk about Snag, my, one of my absolute favorite cards. You spend one mana, draw one card, that card costs zero which is really fantastic, except for boomerangs. Boomerangs always cost one. But yes, uh, Snag is one of my absolute Annoying. favorite Monocost cards. Two. Works Deal really damage. good two. In, uh, uh, when Button. you get a war cast. Double tap to when you get a war, uh, a war blade, a war blade drop down to zero mana cost is absolutely fantastic. It's a great opportunity for you to reshuffle in your war blades. So yeah, Snag works really good. This card is one damage and zero Annoying. cost. Mana cost two. Action. That's Deal zero four mana cost. Two. It's a great card. Disable. Don't overload your Button. deck with it. Swipe. But I do cost think three. I will run a deck one, one day mana with a bunch two. of these weird cards. Mana cost three. I denounce. Mana cost two. Grip. Mana cost two. Extract. Mana cost one. Annoying. I mana think cost my two. deck Over. is a little mana overloaded with annoying. Mana cost one. Tamper. I might want to think about that. I tend to throw cards in my deck and forget how many that are in there. Pro tip number seven. Try to count the cards in your deck. If you're noticing the deck alert. is a little slow, you might have too many copies of the cards you love. And that's it. That is my entire deck. Anoint, Swipe, Scurry, Anoint, Warblade, Denounce, Grip, Extract, Anoint, Bulwark, Shackle, Pamper, Warblade, Discern, Inhibit, 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 Inhibit. Four inhibits. So that's it. I went through the entire deck. This is about 15 cards or so. Uh, you got to be careful with a blade caster. If your deck gets by 20, if you get to 20 or 25 cards, my advice, pro tip number eight would be make sure you throw in a couple more war blades in there because your deck's going to start to get really slow. And um, you've got to. Enter just you got it. You got to just uh, what's the I'm not the word I'm looking for is mix in, mix in more weapons. If you're because if you don't have weapons, your attack power, your DPS goes down substantially, which means you have very little chance of beating some of the more difficult enemies. And remember, when you're playing past silver, the enemies have substantially more health.
So I'm playing this on gold level. Let me tell you something. Most of the monsters are really, really strong. The ghosts are strong. The fish are strong. The toadstools, whatever, are strong. The normals are strong. All the monsters can hit like trucks. And if you get into specialty monsters like the... Um, the beholders, Button. the Inventory. beholders, the ghosts, Inventory. and Inventory. the swords Close. could Close. really wreck Inventory. you. Inventory. Because their powers Close. really make everything you do Button. so many Double more levels select. of complex. So that's the deck. Uh, let's go back up and check out my equipment. All right, let's check out what little equipment I managed to scarf up. Okay, here's my inventory. I don't think I got anything. Nope. Uh, that's right. On this run through, I absolutely got nothing. I did an event. It was a little fish. The fish I hate. The little fishy fish. He ran away and gave me nothing. I think this has been probably one of the worst um, trips up the mountain. So that's been really bad. Also, I want to relay to you some really cool things. Uh, I was playing Conjury on my uh, iPad. And uh, one of the things I noticed is that the way the map is laid out, I do have a little minimal amount of image resolution that I can see. And so I noticed that it looks like little boxes that go up a mountain. And then there's when you have two pathway possibilities, like in an event, a shop or a battle the there's a little white line that branches out to either one so if you want to know kind of like a description of what the screen looks like that's kind of what it looks like and then those lines come to two boxes then those lines tr uh, they re kind of go back toward us a, a box on the next level of the mountain so it's like you're climbing a mountain or you're going up floors in a dungeon so that's kind of what the screen looks like if you are blind and you're not seeing any images i think it'd be really cool if developers started to describe the screen and tell you what's on the screen especially when it's very artsy like this i think that'd be a really cool thing to do so again i only saw it because um with the with the cones in my eyes i can see white and black a little bit not substantially but a little bit and sometimes on a tablet which is why i love tablets tablets to me have more resolution and they're a little better than your phone and when it comes to tablets things are larger so i'm actually able to kind of see some things on tablets so uh you know and, and yes i am legally blind i am fully legally blind i do not have vision that is uh able to be um used to do things like uh, see images from far distances or anything like I can't do any of that stuff. But under extreme magnification, I can see some images. So, uh, and mind you, it's really difficult to really get the picture of it because I'm looking through a very small little part of my left eye to see the white. My right eye is a prosthetic, so I don't see anything out of that eye whatsoever. No light, no dark, no white, no lines, no images. But my left eye, which isn't prosthetic, but is, again, as I said, I'm legally blind. The, the, the left eye, I can see some white and darkness. So, um, so that's a little uh, thing uh, when you guys know. Those of you who know my channel ever since I've been doing my channel, know kind of how my how my eyes are what my disabilities are all right so we've covered we've covered what i've learned we've covered the secret so y'all who are coming back here after 20 minutes close. we're gonna get close. into the battle we're in we've covered i have no you equipment deck. so you know Status i'm gonna effect. lose uh, we're on inventory. a boss Sound battle right volume. now Use so i've volume. gone through floor two, one close. two three Key. and four Go. i didn't get anything good as you can hear and now we have a boss and i'm going to talk about the boss and i'm going to talk about what the um um what the blade Key, blade Key, spell go. kind of like gret does and uh Key, go. again i can Close. never quite say options uh their Button. ability very well Double tap let's go select. back coins eight inventory gargoyle attack zero 
And there you go, there's the level, I'm on gold key. So I am trying to beat the game on platinum on three different characters so that I can unlock triple threat. All right, let's go over when you fight the boss. All right, I don't have much money as you can hear. So with the gargoyle, it's good. The gargoyle doesn't force you to do a lot of weird things. You just have to keep it under control. So status effects are Gret's best weapon on the gargoyle. So pro tip number eight, hit it with every status effect you can. And then it's pretty much useless after that. Make it confuse, put it to sleep, poison it, paralysis it, sleep it, do whatever you have to do. Poison works exceptionally well. Po My favorite status effect combo is poison, confuse, burn. Here's why. Poison works every turn, so that's a countdown. Burn every time they attack and every boss wants to attack, so they lose two health. So if you poison and burn them, the boss is losing three health every single time. And if you paralysis it, it loses that health, plus it's a 25% chance nothing it does works that turn. Paralysis is great. It's a great way to keep you alive. So paralysis is a great defensive status effect. Whereas poison is a DPS. And of course, confusion is a mixed bag of tricks. So sometimes confusion is great because the boss will kill all its minions. It will kill all its consorts. But sometimes you can rely on confusion too much and you'll get yourself wrecked and get your socks knocked off. So don't rely on confusion. Uh, some of the cards that cause confusion are Stupor. So Stupor is a two mana cost card and it will absolutely confuse any enemy you cast it on. It's not a chance. 100% the enemy is confused. What, what confusion is, is that the enemy randomly attacks somebody. Its cards ran, its effects randomly target somebody. Its attacks randomly target somebody. It can attack you. It can attack the witch. It can attack the normal. So that's the thing. It just randomly attacks somebody. If you are confused, you also randomly attack one of the enemies on the screen. Thank God they don't make you attack yourself, AKA Final, uh, a la fan of Final Fantasy. In Final Fantasy, one of the worst things could happen is if you had that little red dog, his name was Red Eight or something. If you had that little red dog and he had like a super powerful setup of gems and he got confused, he could one shot the whole team in one turn because he had this double attack. So that's what it's kind of like. If you're a Final Fantasy nerd like me, you'll remember Red 8, the dog, the dog with the eye patch. So that dog could one-shot your whole team if it got confused. So one of the best Options things bar. in the Inventory. world Coins was to get Inventory. that Gargoyle. dog the attack Moogle zero. Charm. So that's the same thing you can get in Conjury. You can actually get a thing called Tentacle. Uh, the tentacle prevents you from being confused. And trust me, uh, there's so many beholders in this game that cause confusion. You do not want to be confused because it this makes your life very this enemy will heal itself when its health is low. Okay, so now you got a good idea of what to do. Uh, the gargoyle is not your hardest enemy to, de to defeat. Mind you, you got to stay on top of it try to confuse it as much as possible uh, don't get lackadaisical about fighting it because it will kill you and i've been fighting this already so i think there's a 25 uh, let me check my health info. i don't Left know weapon. if i'm winning Warblade. or losing weapon. attack three durability one unequip charge weapon charges two yeah that's another thing uh consider it to have 10 extra hit points it only heals itself once but it's still this very difficult Be get the gargoyle down to 11 health and leave it there do not attack it below 10 health unless you can finish it off. So that's where the grip combo comes in very handy. All right, so let's go ahead and check my health. Okay, we got two weapon charges. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to with Gret. 
The weapon charges is a little number that's in between your left and right weapon. So if you wanna hear that number, that value, you're gonna to wanna to swipe from left to right from your left weapon over to your right weapon. I, I wanna throw a little side note to the developer. There is a slight bug on the iPad. When you're playing Conjury on the iPad, the left weapon doesn't go to the left, it goes to the right, and the right doesn't go to the right, it goes to the left. So when you swipe, you hear your right weapon. So, but if you try to go swipe to the left, you don't, you hear nothing. You have to, once you swipe to the right, you'll hear your right weapon, and then you have to swipe to your right again in order to hear your left weapon. So there's a slight bug on the user interface of the iPad. It's a very tiny, inconsequential bug, but I just wanted to shout it out to uh, Mr. Coulter that there is a slight bug on the iPad, and anybody who's really familiar with Conjury will notice it right away. Again, uh, if you wanna see Conjury in high def, check it out on the iPad, it looks pretty. And yes, I'm blind, I know uh, it may can be kind of strange how I've said that, but again, iPads bring out so much more detail in games. Sound detail, right visual weapon, detail, weapon, the boxes are bigger, so if you have big fingers like me, if you're a big, huge, six foot four dude, uh, attack zero. I always get the biggest phone I can find, but iPads are, oh, they're so good because my fingers feel small on an iPad. Okay, I might need to Options refill bar. my coffee, Options. but uh, let's info. see if we can Let knock out this battle. I'm gonna take a Let little weapon. break and we'll Warblade. come back weapon. and Attack. if we Three. win this Durability. battle, One. we'll Unequip. try to Charge go two. up the ladder Button. again, okay? Double tap to select. Okay, we're really low in health. Let's check out how much health that the boss has, two. the gargoyle has. Light weapon. Lord Lord. Okay, we've got, the, gar two. We've got the gargoyle's uh, two. attack drop to Button. zero. So that's Double good. I think I used inhibit on it. Okay, and our charges are very low. Let's check our weapons. Okay, did you notice how low my durability is? And that's one of the big weaknesses of the Warblades. They have very limited durability. Again, this is another one of my Warblades. Now, I have a question. I have no idea why some of my Warblades are giving me less power. I don't know if some creatures hitting them and lowering their attack power. There's a lot of cheeky little creatures your in Conjury that like Monocost to lower two. your Shield weapon's block. attack two. power. Two. I know the Unblock. snail Charge can two. hurt you, the goblin can break Button. stuff. Double scurry. There's a lot of weird Action. creatures in this game in that directly go after Button. your weapons, which Double makes this game select. so fun. Slide. The Monocost strategy Action. in Conjury is you've got to beat the Button. enemy to what they're Double after. If they're after your weapons, kill your weapons off as fast as possible so they can't attack them. If they're after you, then protect your health points so there's a lot of strategies at work here in conjury all right let's listen to what our hand has your hand. player info gargoyle this and health 15 player info weapon charges two. right weapon health six slash mana zero okay, so four. bulwark is ready to go your hand scurry as Option i told star. you gargoyle. is my deck player draw. info your hand bulwark mana bottom bar and turn Enemy and turn. swipe is for Gargoyle my is enemies that are Torture down to appears. one health. Your turn. Beware. My defense is my deadliest and defense. And we're out of uh, cards. So we only have three cards in our hand. So our, our hand is very small. And remember, uh, with Gret, you've got to keep four to five cards in your hand. You need options. Bottom bar. And turn. Your hand. Annoyed. Okay, we got zero mana. Action. Let's go Deal ahead and check for Charge loot two. boxes, then end our turn. Button. Double tap to select. Swipe. Mana cost zero. We Action. have done. Deal one damage. Let's end our turn. Scurry. Mana cost one. Action. Bulwark. Mana cost two. Cool. Shield, clear info. All right. Mana four slash four. Ugh. Okay, this is very bad. We got a porcupine. As I told you all, I hate porcupines. They're one of the worst. And uh, we have very low health. We haven't hit a food bag yet. So your hand. Scurry. let me see if Mon I can swipe. take out Mon that porcupine. Mon 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 Select a target. Target porcupine. Health six slash six. Bulwark. Mana cost two. Shield block. Two. Durability. Two. I can Unblock. hit that Charge porcupine two. with four Button. damage. Double tap to select. Five damage. Player info. Left weapon. More late. Weapon. Attack. I might Three. have Durability. to sacrifice One. a weapon. weapon okay, let's, 
Like we weapon, might have to sacrifice weapon, a weapon, but attack, our health two, is going to go down one, to four. It's two. really bad. Select a target. But we're, target we need a food bag really six. bad, so let's go ahead and hit it Button. with the anoint. Right weapon. Porcupine defeated. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Your hand. Bottom bar. End turn. Food bag. Button. Add to your hand. All right, let's go. Uh, that's four damage. Let's hit it with one of our weapons. Uh, we do have a bulwark to put on, so we're going to break one of our war blades. Onion. Mana cost zero. Food. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw four cards. Can only be used once. Button. Let's use the Double weaker war blade. There we go. Just enough to kill it. Pair. Mana cost zero. Food. Draw Good. two cards. Please give Can me a food bag. Once. Button. Lemon. Perfect. Let's open Add that. Add spell to your hand from any class. It costs Please one. be it a mushroom. I'll take anything. Button. And no, I don't have any Double way to, to stop select. poison. One of the great things to get when you are Gret is to get frog legs because you want to be able to use that mushroom. Onion is Pair. your favorite Monica friend. Zero. If you're a nimble Draw deck two. user, Option. if Star you're oil. a nimble Player weapon info. user, your hand. Bottom bar. Uh, your hand. Onion is Pair. great. Mana cost zero. Bulwark. Mana cost two. Bottom bar. Add your hand. Extract. That's Mana cost good. One. Drawing two Choose cards. One. Give a weapon plus two attack or plus one durability. Button. Double tap to select. My opinion on Lemon is it's a good card. It Inhibit. can help Mana you, one. but Action. it's very Block. random, Swipe. so Mana you might just Inhibit. get a terrible Extract. card Mana cost and be stuck with it. So I didn't really get any food. Nothing really good came. So what I think we will do is we'll fish for a snack. bar and your hand. Solidify. Select a target. Apply to left weapon. Forward. Mana cost two. Shield block. Bottom bar. Your hand. Pair. Mana cost one. Action. Block two. Damn it. Swipe. Mana cost zero. Action. Oh, got an extract. That's good. Draw cards till there are four in your hand. Extract Button. is good. We can, up. we can strengthen charge, one right of weapon. our four slash war blades. Mana one slash four. Let's uh, extract. We'll take uh, solidify. Your hand. Bulwark. Mana scurry. Mana card swipe. Mana inhibit. Mana select a target. Target gargoyle. Attack three. Left Bulwark. is our Mana stronger two. war blade. Two. Durability two. On block. Charge two. Okay, we got inhibit. War blade. Weapon charge five. Swipe. Uh, we don't need a scurry right now. Let's check out our mana. Uh, four out of 20 hand, health. Over. Mana cost two. We got Shield one block, mana. Two. Durability, two. I think we want to inhibit Swipe, that block, gargoyle in case it breaks Button, out of shackle. Disable. End turn. Enemy turn. Gargoyle is paralyzed. Your turn. There we go. Now can only do one damage. Option spark. We got Option. five Cargoil. weapon Player charges, info. so you want to get this to bar. ten. Turn. Your hand. So that's Push. how Grep works. You want to, if he gets to ten, this weapon doubles bar. an attack your bar. Your hand. Swipe. Whatever Mono it is. Zero. Scurry. Mana cost one. Action. Draw cards till there are four in your hand. All right. We Bulwark. don't have any Mono more mana, info. so. Mono, your hand. Bulwark. Mana cost two. Shield block. Two. Let's, Durability. Uh, two. On block. Player info. End your turn. Weapon charges five. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Perfect. The gargle Over. can't do Monica anything to us. Just left. gotta pay attention to its it attack right. power. Just because Scurry. it's paralyzed doesn't mean it Draw will cards remain till there are four in your hand. paralyzed. Button. Double tap to select. Player info. Oh, we left got weapon. a fish. Weapon charges five. That's waste to draw. Okay, might be time to scurry. Let's put a. We're gonna put our bulwark on. Your hand. Scurry. Mana cost one. Action. Draw. Swipe. Mana cost. A bottom bar. And turn. Let's put in a bulwark. Button. Double tap to select. Your hand. Put it in our Swipe. right hand. Monoc select a target. Target gargoyle. Health 15 slash 37. Scurry. Mana cost one. Action. Draw uh, cards till there are four in your hand. Bulwark is good because bulwark Button. does add Double to tap to select. Uh, actually, it doesn't. It looks like it only does when it blocks. So, sorry bottom about bar. that. I was and wrong. Turn. A your bulwark hand. does Scurry. not Monoc give slash. us a charge. But... Button. It's good though. It's Double a good to card. Bulwark is really good. Okay, we got scurry. Enter your hand. Hamper. Mana cost one. Uh, let's Action. use up. Enchant a weapon with let's poison. Let's use up. Mana cost three. Weapon. Swipe. Attack. Five. Durability. Two. Unequip. Charge two. Button. Double okay, we to got the gargoyle down to fourteen. So we have a really good chance to kill the gargoyle. We could just Board get late. a little Mana lucky. Cost three. Weapon. Let's Attack. play scurry Four. and hope we two. get a good Unequip. card. Charge two. Shackle. Mana cost one. Action. Enchant any equipment with paralysis. Okay, here, Charge let's one. find out what we got. Bottom bar. Now, Enter. Scurry draws cards Button. until we have four in Double our hand, to select. I do believe. Pamper. Ooh, we got our strong war blade in. So we just got our strong war blade that might be worth equipping. That's our altered war blade. So that's our upgraded war blade. 
Your hand. Hamper. Player info. Left weapon. Oh, we drew Hardware. two war Attack blades. Two. Holy enemy. cow. Health 14 slash 37. And we got a shackle. Okay. What we need to do is poison the gargoyle. And that's what I'm telling you. If a boss can be status affected, hit it with everything you've got. That's really important. Player info. Right, let me see Left if weapon. I have any more, more coffee. Blade. Weapon. And... Attack. Three. Durability. Two. Weapon charges. Five. Left weapon, more blade, okay. weapon, attack. I just a little bit attack. more Options of a bar. sip left. Options. All right. Gargoyle. Player info, weapon, right, health four slash twin, mana one slash four. 14 health left, two attack. I don't have any way to block its attack. Our health is getting Your low. I think cost what one. we're going to do, we're going to hit it with weapon. our first weapon. More blade. Mana cost three. And then weapon. I think what attack. we're going to do is we're going to put on two. that on five attack Charge weapon two. and then pray Shackle. it doesn't mana kill cost us. One. Player info, left weapon, more blade, weapon charges six. Your hand, more blade, Mo player info, left weapon, more blade, weapon, attack, select a target, target gargoyle. Oh, we don't have enough mana to left equip weapon, the war blade. Sorry weapon, about that. Um, three, so what I'm going one, to do is equip, I'm going to put two. pamper on gargoyle, our weapon and then crash it this against the health boss. 11 Player info, gargoyle. That attack will two. give us Options one charge. Gargoyle. Player info, left weapon, more blade, weapon, attack, three, durability, one, unequip, charge two. Uh, no, you cannot Double stack status select. effects, just in case you were going to ask that. Your hand, more blade, mana cost, player info, gargoyle, options bar, coins 8, inventory, gargoyle, this enemy intends to attack you, health 11 slash 37, this enemy will heal itself when its health is low. There is okay, a we got the gargoyle this down to this 11 This enemy will take health. one damage each turn. Uh, it didn't break, I thought it would Left break. weapon, more blade, weapon, attack, 3, durability, 1, unequip, charge 2. Your hand, more blade, mana cost through bottom bar, and turn. Draw I card. thought that Disable. weapon was down to one Button. durability. Double tap to I was hoping it would break. Okay, let's not worry about it. Um, let's check the boss. And turn, draw a card. And turn, enemy turn. Gargoyle one damage from poison. Gargoyle heals 10 health. Porcupine appears. Your turn. Okay, good. So as you can hear, I have two status Left effects gargoyle. on it. Attack four. This enemy health twenty slash thirty seven. All right, now we've got to try to kill it in one shot, and that's the hard part because Player if we info. bring Left it weapon. below ten, it will Attack. kill itself Seven. by Durability. ten. Durability one. Unequip. Charge two. Weapon charges zero. Ah. He hurt himself and then he healed himself. You. Ooh. So we now know something. At 10, he heals himself. Okay, so now he's back up to, I think, 21. Yeah, he's at 20. Okay, that was my fault. That poison made him heal himself. Okay, that was our fault. Okay, now we're in really deep trouble. Oh, our Warblade is charged up. Okay, I don't know why our Warblade Your went hand. off. Warblade. Okay, cost three. so Weapon. there's Attack. something Five. going Durability. on two. Is Unequip. it that two. when our effects Button. work on the enemy, we select. get a charge? Because I think that's a little secret right there. So I don't know. Let's experiment with that more. But now our Warblade is doubled. Now, bar. And turn. Your pro tip Warblade. number Mono eight. Three. Weapon. The Warblade, Warblade that is three. in Shackle. your hand Mono does one. not go. Unfortunately, you got to have your Warblades equipped to get the effect of your full charge. All right, so let's go ahead and at least Body hit bar. it hard with what we got. Button. Double tap now, I win. I win if I have grip. If grip is in my hand, I hand. win. Because grip weapon. is Five. Player awesome. Info. Let's weapon. see if we have Warblade. grip in our weapon. hand. Weapon. Attack. Seven. Durability. Select a target. Target porcupine. Health six slash six. Button. Double tap to select. Okay, we have four target damage there. Target gargoyle. Seven Health damage. Seven plus four. We Button. got eleven damage. Double tap to select. No, Apply we didn't pull weapon. the grip. If we had pulled a target grip, gargoyle. Ooh, it would have been ugly. Left so weapon. let's hit it with. Uh, let's hit it with it. Uh, and turn. Food it's time to crack to this war blade. Pair. Mana cost zero. Food. Draw two cards. Can only be used once. Button. Double tap to avocado. Mana cost zero. Food. Add a stone to your deck. Let's kill Can that. Can only be used once. Uh, I think we Kataya. should kill that. Zero. Action. Pine. Feed this to an enemy. Uh, it will drop plus four coins. Boss. Can only be used once. Button. Double tap to select. Oh no, the boss is... Maybe we should kill the porcupine. Avocado. Pear. Let's Monoc kill the porcupine. Avocado. Mana cost zero. Food. Add a stone to your deck. Can only be used once. Button. Double tap to select. Pear. Mana cost zero. Good. Food. Draw two cards. Inventory. 
Gargoyle. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. And your hand. Pair. Mana cost zero. We're really fishing for Bottom snag. bar. And your hand. Annoying. Ooh, Mana cost two. Avocado. Action. Deal four damage. That's Discern. good. Mana cost one. Action. Avocado's Deal two good. damage. Plus two if the enemy has any status Papaya, conditions. I don't need it. Button. All Annoying. right. Mana cost two. Action. Deal four damage. Uh, charge in this two. case, more Button. damage Player is better. Info. So Left we'll weapon. take the weapon charges zero. Right weapon. Health three slash twenty. But then we should draw four cards four. too. So um, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna draw cards. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. Your hand. Annoyance. Weapon. Mana cost three. Weapon. Attack. Five. Durability. Select a target. Equip left. Four late. Mana cost three. We can three. do four weapon. damage Attack. for four. one Durability. mana. Two. Unequip. Charge two. We got a bunch of burn Bottom cards bar. right Unturned. now, so. Um... Your hand. Lord late. Mana cost three. Shackle. Mana cost one. Annoying. Mana cost two. Action. But discern. Annoying. Mana we cost two. Three Action. Health. Deal four we damage. Are in Charge so two. Much discern. Trouble. Annoying. Mana cost two. Action. But discern. He's gonna hit for four. Act. Select a target. Unless he gets target paralysis. Health twenty slash thirty seven. Or late. So Mana cost three. Weapon. Let's Attack. do what four. we can Durability. to two. it. Unequip. Shackle. Mana cost one. Annoying. Mana cost two. Annoying. Mana cost. Bottom bar. And turn. Let's put that on. Double tap your hand. Ward late. All right, we got a war blade on. Ward late. Weapon. Attack. Five. Durability. I don't know two. if we're gonna hurt it. Charge two. Button. Double tap to select. Select a target. Target gargoyle. Health sixteen slash thirty seven. Left weapon. Ward late. Weapon. Attack. Five. Let's Durability. use discern. Lunge. On equip. Charge two. Let's hit Button. the gargoyle with the Double discern. Tap to That's four damage right there. I have a lot of burns, but not enough mana. Weapon charges two. Right weapon. Health three. Mana zero slash four. Your hand. War shackle. Mana cost. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw um, a card. I Disable. could hit it for End five. Turn. Enemy turn. Um, Gargoyle one damage. Yeah, it's not going to really matter, but I'm going to do turn. it. Okay, I got him down to 11. Hand. Okay. War. Player info. Please. Attack please don't heal again. Enemy <laughs> 10, 12, 10 slash All right. Uh, if he doesn't. Is he doesn't is he doesn't succumb to paralysis? He's gonna kill us. Okay, so get ready for us to lose or there is a twenty five percent chance. Player info. Left weapon. Lord late. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. One. Unequip. Charge two. Your hand. Lord late. Mana cost three. Weapon. Okay, here we go. Attack. Let's end our Four. turn. Durability. Two. Unequip. Charge two. Button. Double tap to select. Oh, we survived. He must have hit our shield. Okay, so good. We survived. Um... Shackle. Mana cost one. Action. Anoint. Mana cost two. Action. Anoint. Mana cost two. Grip. Okay, he's Mana got two. ten Action. health, Double so the damage he doesn't heal twice. This turn only. I know. I always have to verify this. Button. All right. Double we got to do select. ten damage. We're down to nothing. Okay. We could do four damage. Player info. Okay. Left weapon. Lord late. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. One. Unequip. Charge we can two. do eight damage. Button. Okay. Double we tap can to do select. eight damage. We need two more damage to kill it. <gasps> Grip. Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. Maybe. No, I don't think so because... We need a weapon with five attack. Let's check. Let's check. We might have them. We might have them. I told you, grip is the thing. Oh, our weapon decreased in power. And that's... Not, okay. Okay. Bug. There is a bug in the game. Your war blades that are increased by the altar go back down and attack. That's not right. I already increased this weapon's attack power to five because of the altar. I paid to increase the attack power of this weapon but because energy reduces your weapons down to their basic you removed my effect you removed my upgrade that isn't fair so that's why we're going to lose because the game is default is bringing our weapon down to its default status so that isn't fair that warblade had an attack of five and if i'd use grip on it it would have done 10 and we would win your but hand. again, that's three. the thing Weapon. to keep Attack. in mind. Four. That's two. them's Unequip. the breaks, y'all. That's how Mono it goes. Cost one. So if Mono we cost had two, two more blades on, damage. we'd win Charge right two. now. Um, so Double tap to select. again, if you can get your war blades down to two mana costs, that's also really good because then you can put two on at once. So 
Also, if you can get Royal Charm, Clear get a free info. banana to start to turn, draw both your war blades. There's a lot of cool things you can do. So I think there's a your way for us blade. to Monocost kill this weapon. creature. Attack. Four. Yeah. Durability. Two. Unequip. Charged. Player info. Your hand. War blade. Monocost. Player info. Left weapon. War blade. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. One. Unequip. Your hand. War blade. Monocost. Shackle. One. We can Mono anoint, anoint it. Monocost. Hit it for Monocost. four Select damage. Target. Apply to left weapon. We can hit it for four blade. damage. Monocost. Three. Weapon. Attack. And we four. can grip our two. weapon and hit it two. for. Eight damage, Monocost. twelve. Enter. We got it. All right, let's Shackle. do it. Anoint. Monocost two. Action. Deal four. Select a target. Target gargoyle. Okay, we got it. We beat him. Let's Blade. grip Monocost our weapon. weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. Two. Player info. Left weapon. More blade. Weapon. Attack. Eight. Durability. One. Un Select a target. Target gargoyle. Health six slash thirty-seven. Left weapon. Gargoyle defeated. Left weapon. Let's Nothing equipped. Chest appears. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. <laughs> button. Double tap to let's plus twenty coins. Our plus one gem. Left Fairy weapon. Right. Cool. And then let's anoint. Boom. Oh, baby, we did it. We did it. Boom. Oh, boy. That was awesome. Oh, when we got a fairy charm. That's really cool. Fairy charm is really Lose great. Lose this item after. Ten um, hyphens. Seal the type. The sturdy bottle holds a rare and luminescent fairy of the forest. That possibly is one of the best cards to use on the final boss. So once you go up the uh, ladder two times, on the third time up, you get the final boss, which could be death, it could be a triant, it could be something really nasty. And that's going to keep you good. Fairy jars are great. And I don't believe there's any rule against stacking them. So yeah, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, yes, it is a consumable. Great description, by the way. Uh, yes, it is a consumable. When you do die, it's your free get out of jail free card. But yes, uh, fairy jars are great. They're really, really good. But yeah, we beat it. Uh, that was this is gold key level. Gret the blade caster. This was the first trip up the mountain or the ladder or the floors. So that was a mid boss. That was not the main boss. So that was it. So yeah, that is basically the tutorial for Gret. You got to hear and see exactly how I play Gret. You may play it differently. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. Also, if you have any tricks or tips to offer, please do so in the comments. I love your secrets. So don't be shy. Just drop that spoiler alert and go ahead and let me know what little tricks you found and little secrets you found because I really appreciate that again. So uh, I think we're going to wrap it up right here. Um, I think uh, I will continue to play Gret. And if I do get Gret to platinum level, I will play the whole playthrough. But I wanted to get the strategy tutorial guide out for Gret the Bladecaster because uh, I do believe Heather mentioned that I didn't do the full playthrough of Gret. And thank you very much, Heather. I did forget. So um, again, it's Heather's fault <laughs> and it's Blood Bowl's fault. <laughs> so thank you very much to those folks for uh, throwing me that channel support, being good channel friends. I appreciate them. And I appreciate you. Feel free to like this video. I really love when you do that. It really helps the video. So don't be shy, swing by and touch that like and subscribe. Uh, you, you know, we've got good subscriber counts coming in. All of my uh, folks who in my blind and visually impaired gaming community, thank you for supporting this channel. We're just peer, peer with the blind and visually impaired gamers. I appreciate you, you sighted, visually diverse fans. I love you too. Thank you for joining me here. And, uh, you know, you can also follow this channel closely if you double tap on that all. You'll get all the notifications. And yeah, I try to release videos three or four times a week. I drop some quiet videos where I'm not talking much. I drop some um, videos on Sunday, depending Blood. on what game I'm into. Blood. And I drop some weekday grind videos Blood. where Blood. I'm just knocking out Disabled. my favorite game. So I get, a little bit for, I get a little bit of something for everybody. But I'm going to go ahead and finish right here. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll come back with some more Conjury. It's an awesome game. I really love it. And I'm going to keep playing it. And we will try to unlock Triple Threat, the secret character, soon. But until then, folks, take care, and I'll hear you next time. Bye-bye.